Yo, Yo, ready, ready, y'all ready, y'all ready, y'all ready, ready, ready. ready? Welcome to the Upside Down Smiley Show where we talk about real life and we don't take life too seriously and we hear the stories of everyday people. My name is Shireen and today we have DJ Heavy in the building. Hey, you gotta you. give me your drop. I gotta like put your drop in. <laughs> I am DJ Heavy. <laughs> um, and today we're gonna talk about weight loss and body image stuff. And yeah, cue the intro. Yep. is here and um, he is a friend of my husband's and yep. he I'm DJ Ellis DJ, DJ Ellis, Ellis. But I went I posted a little Instagram story and we can get into that in a second and yeah. uh, he saw it and he was like hey this is an amazing story uh, yeah you should uh, hit my wife up yeah so, yeah here we are he's like low-key my manager I'm his manager <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we kind of just help each other that's awesome yeah we're gonna so, talk about support systems too so yeah let's good. talk about that yeah. um so yeah what was the situation so, uh, it was a thing where I've been on this weight loss journey mm -hmm. and um, I was able to uh, go into a regular store, yeah. which was Target. You know, right. Target is as, as basic and regular as it comes. No offense to anybody that shops at Target all yeah. the time, but it's just... We just passed a big target on the way up here. Right. And uh, I wanted just to put on a shirt, yeah. you know, and, uh, and just to be able to fit their sizes because those type of stores don't usually cater to people of bigger sizes. Yeah. So before I was wearing like uh, you know like a four or five X shirt, which mm -hmm. is really big, and uh, I'm down to a double XL now. So it felt really good to yeah. go into Target, put on a shirt, right. and walk. I'm actually wearing it right now. This is it. Target shirt, sure, shout out. Yeah. Target, you should sponsor me. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but like that's something that I've never even thought about. Like that's a privilege that I have. Yeah. And I think like what I thought about is like how we can relate to this, right? Because I think the whole weight loss and like body image, it's all relative, right? Like right. I've always been like a curvy woman, but in general, I think people just kind of struggle with having this idea of like have, wanting to be like, have a perfect body right. or like being like what society tells you you should be, right? Especially, um, you know, as DJs, um, I'm in the public eye, yeah. you know? And obviously I get it. They want somebody that looks really good standing up there in the yeah. center of the room. Right. So it's kind of hard when you, you look a certain way and they want a certain image yeah. and I'm sure I've been passed up for gigs and whatnot but you know I've been on this weight loss uh, journey I feel like it's been my whole life but mm -hmm. recently I've been really taking it seriously and it's not for the clubs it's for me yeah um, for my wife right you know and just be able to you know have kids one day yeah. and be able to run around the yard with them and not be tired and right. you know and you know that whatnot. makes me think about like yeah my whole life I've always just trying to trying to lose weight trying to be skinnier trying to be like trying to look cuter right and then yeah. I think as we get older we realize it's not really for that it's yeah. for just to be healthier it's for yourself like I don't want to be winded when I like go up a few flights of stairs like yeah. I should be healthy enough to like work out and. And that's always been a thing for me. Like I, I never got into like a consistent workout um, like routine and like food has never been a thing for me. Like I've always, I think like in the, for Indian people, our food's not healthy. And like how was, how was eating when you grew up? So growing up, uh, uh, I, I grew up in a Jamaican household. Okay. And, um, and food is, is, is food, you know? Yeah. It's, it's, it's healthy food and there's not so healthy food. Yeah. But like me growing up Jamaican American, I focus on the American side, right? And uh, we used to complain to our parents, "Oh, we want McDonald's." Yeah. And, you know, you're a kid, so right, you want right, the toys. Right. You're getting McDonald's all the time, and my mom wouldn't want to hear us, and you know, she just buys McDonald's, and oh, yeah. you know, I'm not saying that's the problem, but like, you know, they do what they do yeah, best, you, yeah, you right? Give, you, like, you give your kids whatever just to shut them up sometimes, and yeah, I think that you was want, just they want to make you happy. Yeah, right. And I think that was the the issue. You know, you never really learn proper eating habits as a child no. and that carries on to an adult you know yeah um i think that's yeah a similar story like I, with having immigrant parents um you know we ate like a lot of fast food yeah. or we had junk food at the house and yep. they did, i think at that time they didn't know really and knowing now that how much sugar is in everything oh my gosh <laughs> we just... had like sugary cereal that's all we ate 
Yep, right. sugary cereal. I remember we would eat the cornflakes and then we just take like sugar and just dump it into the cornflakes. <laughs> That's so gross. This is sweet. Yeah. That's so what we were eating, man. And uh, right. we would eat, uh, drink a lot of the sodas. Yep. You know, even Jamaican sodas now, every all types of sodas, just right. so much sugar. My parents seriously think like kids need juice. Yeah. Like they Same. think like yeah. there's fruit and so yeah. then that equals like yeah. kids need healthy. that. Juice is right. healthy, right? Yeah, and it's it's still and I don't blame them. Because, you know, I think we're learning this more, like, just through life and whatnot. Um, but, you know, as we get older, we're, we can, like, make those decisions and, like, make those right. changes. And you see, now you're more conscious of it now. And, and like, literally, I go through the store and we mm -hmm. go shopping. And I'm, like, just for, like, simple thing, like, there's, uh, like, uh, like, spaghetti sauce. Yeah. You know, something simple. And I will see no sugar added. Now mm -hmm. I'm seeing, like, the no sugar barbecue sauce. Because mm -hmm. if you look on the back of this stuff. There's so much sugar. There's so much sugar in mm -hmm. everything. And yeah. that's what's really, I think, attributes to a lot of obesity in America, for yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. It's just sugar. It's just sugar. Right, yeah. And I feel like there's definitely addictive properties in these sugary oh, things. Sure. Like, I've, I've had issues where I'm like, why do I keep eating? Because I'm not, I don't need to eat this. Right. Um, do you feel like working out and exercising was something that you were taught? Because definitely was not. Not at all. I didn't yeah. start working out uh, <coughs> until like maybe middle school, but that was for like football and okay. like wrestling. And then I hated it. Yeah. And um, because I was a little underdeveloped, so I could never bench as much as everybody else. Okay. So I, I just hated working out. And right. I just had that mentality of just, you know, not like wanting, yeah, chore. just like a chore, you know? And I just hated working out. Even then, you know, in my adult years, I would work out and it just quit and just hated it. Yeah. Um, and now I'm lucky to have a wife who gets up, she goes to the gym, Shout she drags out. me. Shout she, out to the wife. <laughs> She's in the building. <laughs> <laughs> she uh, she drags me to the gym yeah. and I drag her to the gym. Yeah. And it's a good support system to have because right. you're doing it together. We're doing it together. You guys and it's are partners. A, it's a journey now mm -hmm. for us, for us together. Yeah, I never liked working out. I felt like it was always like a punishment. Yeah. Or something like that. For like sure. you have to do this because you ate like crap the day before. Mm -hmm. And now I finally have been getting like, no, like I feel good after I worked out, I got it. 4 a.m. this morning and went to and went to a class and one thing I was actually thinking about because I've noticed this the past few classes I've been to is um, and I don't think this is the situation overall but they were like all white people mm -hmm. and so I think that's another thing of like people of color in general I don't think as an overall population we are taught or are we are encouraged yeah. to make sure we get our health like in check until we get like overweight and then everyone wants to make a comment about it, yeah. right? Everybody in your family, oh, you're getting so fat, you're getting so big. You know, <laughs> right, like, like, oh, it's Aw. like a term of endearment, thank you. It's like, all right. That's that how they show they love you, right? <laughs> yeah, um, we all have that family member. Right, like, right, right. Oh, yeah picked up a few pounds and it's just like all right <laughs> <laughs> right there's like nothing else for us to talk about yeah but i mean at the end of the day you are right though i mean um i think you know it's hard for me to do a lot of classes because i don't really see a lot of people that look like me exactly. in these classes yeah you know and they're expensive and all that they're super expensive um, even yeah. just yeah i have a trainer session later today so yeah. even to having a trainer it just adds up you know yeah but um it's one of those things where you just gotta find ways to kind of make it work mm -hmm. um you know obviously i don't eat out um as much anymore so there's a right. large portion we were eating out i mean back in the day we were eating out we four yeah, or most, five times yeah a week, most of our that, meals and it's so more. bad yeah and it's, it's all mm -hmm. bad because you don't know how they're prepping that food and how right. they're cooking that food and then it also connects to like saving money the saving money so right? now we save a lot of money mm -hmm. it goes to a lot of groceries though because you know it's it's, and it's, it's it's also like you know the bad side of eating healthy is Food expires quickly. Lettuce mm -hmm. yep. expires quickly. You gotta move. I've yeah. been recently throwing away so much food, and I just feel so sad and so like upset. But I mean, you know, it's it's hard. Like you have to really plan, right? Like yeah. our, I think with our schedules, it's kind of tricky. Yeah. Sometimes you you really have to plan for it. Do you do you meal prep? No. See, and yeah. uh, I've been getting into that, and that's yeah, what yeah. that's kind of that's what helped me. So. Uh huh. Uh, when I got on this weight loss journey again, so it's like, you know, it's one of those things I know I'm not the skinniest guy and I'm here talking about weight loss, but I, I know, used to but be... that doesn't matter, right? Yeah, like, right. I, like you can't say someone is like bigger and they're not healthy. Like that's also an issue because True. think about like, I'm sure you've seen like really skinny people. They, there might be, they might 
smoke cigarettes. Yeah. They might drink a lot. They might eat like crap, right? Yeah. But just because they're skinny, Doesn't they everyone kind of thinks like they are healthy. The picture of health. Yeah, and then also I feel like they a lot of times they have a lot of comments about bigger people when really like you don't really know what it's like to be a bigger person until like you've been in that situation where like people just kind of judge you like you're yeah. lazy or like yeah. you, you it's your fault or like yeah. there's a lot of situations where like yeah. people and people point the finger like oh it's your fault just put the food down and, yeah. and, and whatever and it's not always the case you yeah, know no. and so and going back to uh uh me just you know trying to get on this weight loss journey man um it's just been it's a process you know like I, i've gained weight and i've lost mm -hmm. weight and i've gained weight and i've lost weight and i've lost weight and i've gained weight so yeah. It's one of those things where I posted the, the Instagram video about the shirt because mm -hmm. it's important to have um, non-victory scales. Yeah. You know, um, I think I went on a like a stalemate for a while where I just wasn't moving on the scale. Yeah. And it was and it, it, it was yeah. And and you focus on that number and you get depressed and you want to start eating. You say you know screw it. Right. I'm not losing the weight. I've been working out like hell and I've been eating What's all the point? this. Yeah. And then uh, you know I went into Target and put this 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 uh, sweater on. Yeah. And it fit. Yeah. And then it's like a whole new boost of energy now. And yeah. It's like, okay. This, this it's boost of confidence. Yeah. It's like whatever I'm doing is working. Mm -hmm. You know, even though the scale might say one number. Yeah. For the last three four weeks or whatever, it's not moving. I know that I'm losing inches and mm -hmm. things are starting to move into place for me. So Yeah, I've been thinking about more, you know when you notice someone has lost a lot of weight, a lot of times you like call it out, right? Yeah. And I think recently I've been trying to kind of bring out what is different in their personality or like you, I, I, one of my cousins, I was like, you look so confident, like you look so happy, right? Because yeah. I think when we, um, when we connect like you looking good as you being skinnier, mm. I think there's uh, that can get dangerous. Yeah, it definitely can. Because like you being happier is more important than you being smaller. True. Does that make sense? No, it right. makes sense. Yeah, no, it makes it makes sense. But I think as a, like when you hear those kinds of compliments, you're like, oh, good. Yeah, yeah it makes yeah. me feel good it makes at you the time. Feel good. Feel like, yeah. But then when I gain weight, then am I less? Right? You know, you're not. Right, and you have to find. Um, uh, self validation. You have to do it for yourself. You yeah. can't do it for the ground. You can't do it for nope. somebody else. You have to do it for yourself. Yeah. And that's the only way you're really going to get that validation. Mm -hmm. And it took me forever. You know, yeah. I would try to lose weight um, for, you know, for the club. I would try to lose weight, you know, for my family, you know. Yeah. And then at the end of the day, you just have to do it for yourself. Right. And, you know. It's just what it is. Right, you know? right, right. Has there ever been a situation like when you're working that it's it's shell like that you get tired or anything like that? Working or? out? No, like just... when you're doing your job. Oh, when I'm DJing? Um Not really? No, I mean I don't really get tired, but like so it, it's it's challenging, right? Because I sometimes I have to DJ in like bars. Mm -hmm. And I'll wake up and I'll go to like a bar or a brunch or something and DJ and I gotta see all these people just yeah. indulging in right. all this food. And how that are you gonna meal? Amazing. How are you gonna meal prep? You're like going to a bar, like, can right. I use your microwave? Like <laughs> yeah. So so it's hard because you know I, I pass I, I you know I I uh, I cut down a lot on drinking. Yeah. Drinking is there's a lot Empty of calories. calories. Yeah. So I, I gave up a lot of that. Mm -hmm. Um if I drink it's maybe like like once a week or mm -hmm. you know I limit it down very minimal and when I do drink it's like you know like something with soda it's yeah. never no sugary right 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 Tropicana, you always end up drinks. feeling like crap after yeah. that anyways and so then um so I cut down on drinking you know um I, I don't eat when I go out mm -hmm. and then I don't eat afterwards which yep. is this is hard because you know I'll DJ for four or five hours and you're hungry and I'm hungry yeah. and then I just want to get the quick fix yeah and I have to keep it in my head to go home and just eat something else. Eat something at home or home. it's kind of late. Like, yeah. why don't I just go to sleep? 4 a.m. We shouldn't be at the <laughs> right. taco spot. Right, go like you'll likely do not feel good the next yeah. day. Um, cool. Anything else you want to include? No, I mean, yeah. yeah, I mean, this is fun, so. Yeah, I appreciate you being I here, man. You Thank me. you so much. Um, yeah, come through, come join me. We like to have conversations. We, we I do a video every single week, and yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. Peace.